hope you can see me. And it's a little hard to see, okay, um... Camden, Camden, yes, my name is Camden, and I thought I would just do this little video just talking about Anne with an E, and now this show is amazing, first, first of all, and it's open for you to watch Netflix, I absolutely love the show, now why am I making this video on this channel about Anne with an E, because I want to, and I have been talking quite a bit about this show, but not exactly talking, talking. But um, the whole Twitter, Instagram, sort of Tumblr. And you can see stories of these on Wattpad. It's everywhere. And now I'm here to, to say why do I love Anne with an E. And first off, um... I actually watched the original Anne of Green Gables, which is the 80s movie version of Anne with an E, but the movies are a little bit more truer, truer to the books. Um, because some people don't realize that Anne with an E is actually an adaption, and everything in Anne with an E on Netflix does not bother what it was in the books or really compared to the 80s version of Anne of Gable. Now the cool thing is that both of these movies have been made in Canada which is on I believe it's Prince Edward's Island or PEI and I believe another YouTuber named Mimi1239 um, she's a very very knowledgeable person who is well known in the fandom because she makes videos talking about the show and reactions on the show and yeah and if you ever want to watch the 80s version of Anne with me I believe you can DM her for a link um, and, and there's one PBS version um, I haven't seen the others but I know of it because I think I saw a clip that involved the Slate scene, if you're the infamous slate scene, if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you might as well just want to watch Anne with an E from season one and see what what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, sorry, I was thinking about this word joke that's been spread through the fandom because of Mimi, because of Mimi one two three nine. Um, you'll have to really know what I'm talking about if you're really involved into the show and fandom, but. Besides that, the show itself, it's, I think it's really good. Now, a lot of people who have seen or read the books may not completely like the show it's themselves. Like, I understand you're probably expecting it to be a lot like the books, but, like, once again, the show is only an adaption. So, it's not be everything in the show is not going to be like in the books or the 80s movie or anything like that. Um... And some people just don't realize this, and the writer, or she, I guess, I guess she is the writer of the show, her name is Mariah, um, she has said this multiple times that the show is an adaption, and if you did not get that, it's an adaption, okay? So, yeah, um, there's, there's a lot of things I love about it, and this show really does touch bases on things that other shows, not gonna say names, but I really want to, but I want to involve two digit numbers in it, and it's on Netflix, and I'm a big fan of show. I've watched it, I can say I've watched it, but I don't like the show, I just don't like it, I don't know why I watched it, even though, but I think I just wanted to see how they play the story out, but you know what, after the second season of that said show, no, I just don't like it, no, but um, 
and with an E, was able to cover um, what was made in the other Netflix show um, better. And of course, now in and with an E on Netflix. So I'm like, I'm laying down, but um, I wish I could sit, but there's like, it's very hard to find a place for this camera. But okay, um, I'm sorry, it's just like so really up close. And I'm really hot because it's really hot right now. I think it's like, what, how, how hot is it outside? I mean, let me look. Um, if you can load up. Right now, it's 72 degrees. But, oh, never mind. It's 67 degrees. But in my house, it's like a little bit warmer. I mean, it's not the point, not the point. I'm going off, I'm going off. Okay. So, uh, the part in the show, I think, the favorite thing about this is, that this show representation of LGBT characters. Now people made a big deal about this, probably because it's not what it's like in the books or anything. But this is an adaption, okay? This is seriously only an adaption, and I don't know how many times I have said the word adaption in this video already. But it's important that people need to get that through their mind, okay? Um, and they also need to realize that LGBTQ human beings existed. Forever, and that even means in the 1800s, okay? Okay? So, the characters I'm, I'm referring to in the show is Cole McKenzie. Now, I have a little clip here of the season that they have released back in, I want to say August, but I want to say it was early July. Now, I can't remember because everything happened so quickly, and I may have watched the show in maybe four hours. As in clip here, it's a clip here or a clip up here. I don't know which side. My, you know, you'll see, you will see. And he is the gay character on the show. Um, the way he came out to Anne was very sweet. It was a very very sweet moment, and I absolutely adore it. I I support LGBTQ people because they're so amazingly awesome, special human beings, and I love them so much. And he is such an amazing character. I I did not like I've been hearing about this character being added as before season two started. Um, but what I did not expect, I think I was slow because I my thinking's a little bit slow. Like I think it's time to process things. In the first season, I didn't realize that Josephine Barry, um, who is the aunt of Diana Barry, who is like. And best friend, awesome friend, kindred spirit, you know all those names if you've seen the show or whatever. Um, she had mentioned that she was, she was sad because she lost her partner, like her love of her, of her life. Um, and it was a woman. And I didn't catch that in the first season, but she said it between like her, like Anne, like, have this moment, um, but for this season two, um, so, um, anyways, um, she mentioned it more, and it was a little bit more talked about, but not completely talked about, like, they said that, oh, Josephine herself said that she was living her life with this woman, um, it was really interesting, and it was really nice to see the little interaction between her and Cole um as Cole told her that he liked it was like the same thing as her but with guys and it was really it was a really sweet moment um but I love Cole's character um and everyone really loved him too cause he's like he's so sweet anyways um that is something that I love about the show and another thing I love about the show is that they have a person, like, in the show, is they have, is their first, um, person of color representation, representation in the city of Avonlea, and that would be Bash, and I love seeing his little storyline with Luke, no, I want to say Lucas, but Lucas is the actor, who's acting as Gilbert. Okay. And it was, I, 
I just love him as a character, and then him with his little wedding with Mary, and that little moment that Gobo and Anne. Oh man, I mean, mm, I love I love Gilbert and Anne. Their growing relationship, their little competition with each other, but not really competition, but it is competition. It's only for Anne it's a competition, but Gilbert, Gilbert's Gilbert. Um, and that's, that's just, that's the, both of them is, both of them together is another reason why I love this show. Um, the way that the people who play them, Amy Beth and Lucas, um, do such a good job. And I'm just impressed with the cast as well. The cast did such a good job with the show. And the cinematography too is really nice. It's really beautiful. And you can just see all this nature and stuff in Prince Edward's Island or PEI. Um, it's just really, it's just a really beautiful show. The music, oh, the theme song is so good. I love the theme song so, so much. And, you know, the show overall is so good. And I think this video is getting too long, but I could go on and on about the show. But, to end this, I want you to watch and with a knee and see why I love it um but I know this show is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea because it's kind of a historical drama but it's an adaption so everything in the show is not historical accurate but it's kind of accurate enough but some things aren't completely accurate but you really get yourself into the show and you become almost attached to the characters I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have gotten quite a bit attached to one character in the show and I think we already all know who that is and you can see the shirt I'm wearing I realized this and I was wearing this shirt um throughout my day I guess I was suddenly thinking about Lucas's photo shooter he had a shirt like this on um yeah anyways thank you for watching I would love to do another video maybe talking a little bit more about Anthony E um I would absolutely love to make a video just talking about the movie that Netflix put out, which is two other boys I looked before, um, or anything. I think I'm actually making a video, not really to this, but about what I'm doing, what I'm hoping to see in my future, what, what I'm planning to do for school and stuff like that. Anyways, thank you for watching again. Like this video, comment down below what, what's your favorite thing about the show. And yeah, bye. You are held by a sentry. You are held by a sentry. No, just rehearsal.